So today I decided to film on a whim because I had to get myself ready for the day and I was like, I want to test out some new products. We're gonna sit down. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. In other fun news, completely forgot to plug in my microphone for this video. So if it sounds a little echoey when I'm talking, I'm really sorry. Again, this was last minute. I was not prepared. But I have on a summer midi dress, so that's really exciting. Hello everyone, I'm here today to do a new five first impressions video for you guys and this one is going to be all drugstore products that I've gotten over the last little while that I've been really excited to test out for you guys. So I thought what better way than to actually sit down, finish doing my makeup and, and kind of show you guys what I thought of the products. And this time because when I did my last one I had asked you guys what you wanted me to do a little bit differently and you guys really wanted to have an update at the end of the day how the products wore on the face. And so I wanted to update you guys at the end of the video on how it wore throughout the day and that is everything. There are some good products in here, there are some not so great products in here, but without further ado, let's get into this. Alright, so I have most of my eye makeup on, I have some foundation concealer on, and now we're going to go in with a cream product before I set my face, and I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula, I think it's like their Insta Ready, what is it, Contour Stick? Oh, it's on the bottom. This is the Contour Trio BB Stick, Bronze Trio, so it has a dark, a medium, and a light shade. So this is supposed to be a contour in one fell swoop where you just swipe it on your face, you blend it a little bit, and you're done. Get the hair out of the way. Where's my cheekbone? Oh, I guess we want it right here. Now I'm going to blend it, see if it blends. Please blend, please blend, please blend. Hey, you know what? That actually is, that's blending quite nicely. Do you guys see that? Is that just me? Did I contour? Okay, let's try the other side. You know what? Gotta say, that was an awesome, awesome product. That did a really good job at contouring. It is really creamy, easy to blend out. I'm sure you could blend it out too with a beauty blender or something if you wanted. I don't know how well it would work on the sides of the nose though, because I don't want the, blend, the colors to blend all together. But maybe if you use the side along the sides of your face, like you could continue to contour and like go along the bottom, I don't know. For the cheekbones though. This is a definite win. All right, now we're going to set the face and I'm going to be using the Quo, Quo, Q-U-O, I never know how to pronounce this. This is their BB Face Powder with Goji Fruit Extract. Translucent powder for all skin types. It has a brush, in case anyone's wondering. I'm confused by your definition of translucent. Quo, Q-U-O, I'm gonna pronounce it both ways. Cause like, that's not translucent. I'm currently wearing a uh, foundation that I wear on a very regular basis so I know how it sits on my skin. I didn't want that to sway my results at all. And so um, I'm just changing up um, the powder. So far it's going under the skin quite nicely. My pores do actually do appear diminished, which is nice. It goes on nice and smoothly. It doesn't seem to be as dark as it looks in the package, but I mean, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. So, so far, big win, but we will see how it looks at the end of the day. All right, so now I'm going to go on to my lashes, and I'm going to be testing out the Essence Volumizing Lash Powder. How cool does this look? And also it's slightly terrifying. So you're supposed to close your eyes, apply the powder to your mascara before the mascara has dried, and then use the mascara again to seal it. So I'm going to be using, actually, an Essence mascara, coincidentally, because I know that this one doesn't give tons and tons of volume, like it's not like the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara or something like that. It does give nice, um, beautiful lashes and it's one of my favorite mascaras. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the mascara to both eyes and then I'm going to apply the powder and another coat of mascara to the one eye so we can see if there's comparison. <laughs> okay, so this is a white powder. Ooh! Oh, it's not even a powder! I thought it was a powder! It's not, it's just cotton balls, basically. Alright, mascara on both lashes. This one has the powder on, this one does not. Do you guys see a difference? Because I do not. Now, I gotta be honest, I was pretty careful with how I applied these fibers to the lashes just because I didn't, didn't want to overdo it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this out a little bit more over the weekend, and if I have any further tips, or maybe it makes a big difference if you use a certain amount or whatever, I will put some information in the info bar below for you guys, but as of right now, don't notice any difference. All right, now onto the brows, and I'm gonna be using the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Brow Contour. And this is in Vanilla Taupe. This is supposed to contour the brows, so you can fill in the brows, and then you put the highlight accent underneath, I guess. This is what the pencil looks like, so we have the pencil on one end, and then we have the highlight shade on the other end. It is very, very light. Like, it's really difficult to get any sort of pigmentation, which is kind of annoying me right now, but um, I guess it's kind of nice so you don't want to be too heavy-handed with your brows. I don't know if I could use the 
the fibers to fill in my brows and make them look extra voluminous. I don't know, <laughs> would, that, would that be a thing? I could totally do that, right? So now I'm gonna try the highlight end. We're gonna see if it does magical things to our brows. To be honest, it does not show up very well. Like, I can't really see that in front of me. Maybe uh, Editing Rachel has a different opinion. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not super impressed with this product. I think that there are better drugstore options out there. However, I will say if you are new to filling in your brows and you just want to experiment a little bit and you don't want anything too um, intense on your brows, then I think this, this is a really good product to test out because I think, oot. Wow, I just sound really Canadian there for a second. For me, I like to draw like a really crisp line underneath, and so it doesn't really do that that well. So, I mean, overall, great color match, great variety of colors from what I've seen in terms of selection, um, but it wasn't my favorite that I've ever used. All right, now I have a little bit of blush and some highlight on, so now we're going to finish everything up with the lips. And today I'm going to be trying out the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick, and this is in the shade Life's a Beach, which is a beautiful coral shade, which I thought was really pretty, so I picked this up from Shoppers Drug Mart a couple of days ago. According to the website, this lipstick is supposed to have a matte finish, velvety soft, and waterproof. Waterproof. All right, <laughs> I'll test that out. Whoa, that is pigmented. I have to say this is much more neon than I was anticipating. I do not like this at all. So the formulation itself is very smooth. It's liquidy, but it's not too watery. Um, I do like the consistency, but I have to say that this, maybe it's just this color, but it's super streaky. Um, I was trying to like cover up all the lines as I was going, and the dough tip is not super thin at the end, so it's really hard to get a nice precise line into the corners without using a lip liner. It's not settling well on the lips, and um, it's definitely a little bit tacky as well. I am curious to see if it is actually waterproof, so I'm gonna leave it on and see how it wears. All right, I'm back and it is the end of the day. I don't even know what time it is. I don't have a clock in here. So let's start with the lipstick, shall we? Because I want to take it off immediately. I will say for the first little while, I was pretty stoked about it. I was like, this is gonna stay on forever. But after a lot of eating and drinking throughout the day, it is basically all gone. And it's also like smeared around my lips too, which is super attractive. That was a big bust. I need some lip tap. Oh, my lips are so dry. So for the eye product, I, I don't have any information yet, as it has only been several hours. The eyebrows are still intact. They look good. The contour is in place still, for the most part. You can see that, you can still see that, right? And then the powder has done a pretty good job. It's not the greatest. I can see, you know, some shininess here, a little on the forehead. It has kept my pores pretty minimized so they don't look like giant and shiny, so that's nice. Overall, my skin doesn't look terrible considering it's the end of the day, but I mean, it's not great. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you wanna see more of these five first impression videos. Maybe I'll do a uh, completely high-end one next time and if you guys have any requests for particular products that you want to see if it's actually worth the money let me know in the comment section below or if you have any specific product requests in general that you guys want to see first impressions on let me know I hope you are all having an amazing amazing week so far and I will see you guys all in my next video love you girls Mwah!